Hello everybody, OC Disaster here, and I think it's kind of funny because I just did like a whole post and update for 2021 saying that I was only going to post two types of content each week, and I'm already breaking that with this bonus content, but it's whatever. Uh, <laughs> you can put the pitchforks and uh, torches away. I don't really think this affects anybody. Before we get into the video, please be sure yes. to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. So I was going to set up my online smash tag, right? I usually change it depending on what type of video I'm doing. And then it kind of got me thinking, does smash icons deconfirm DLC characters? I've been asking this question for a while now, and I was just wondering if I could get your guys' opinions in the comments below. Do you think smash icons deconfirm possible future DLC characters? So let's just take a look. I haven't really looked into this like too specifically. And this is not scripted, of course. Uh, so let's go down past the characters that are in the game. Okay, so we have some of these characters. There are assist trophies, so I could see how they're definitely not going to be DLC characters because Sakurai has said that assist trophies are not going to be playable DLC characters in the future. Maybe in the next future Smash installment, but yeah. So I guess we're just getting through all the assist trophies first i guess that ends around here because golden mario is not an assist trophy so let's look at these um he is a hazard in a stage dry bowser isn't in this game hazard not a hazard not a hazard power up we got paper mario gino hmm interesting Guess who's not going to be a DLC character because he's a me costume. Dixie Kong. Funky Kong. What's interesting is they have Eggman. So Tails is a me fighter costume. Eggman and Amy. So they are not assist trophies. Nor are they me costumes. So could that mean they're possibly a DLC character? Or because they're icons, does that deconfirm it? And then at the very end, we have... Shantae, who a lot of people want as a Smash Bros. DLC fighter, especially as an indie rep. So uh, yeah, you guys let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do these icons determine or deconfirm what DLC characters are going to be in Smash? I'd love to know your opinion. I honestly do not know. I'm leaning more on the side that they kind of deconfirm because they're already, you know, part of the game but as you know spirits don't deconfirm dlc characters so yeah drop that like button if you enjoyed the video i hope you have a smash tastic day see ya